Alvin DSV2 is a manned deep ocean research submersible owned by the United States Navy and operated by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. The vehicle was built by General Mills Electronics Group in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Named to honor the prime mover and creative inspiration for the vehicle, Alan Vine, Alvin was commissioned on 5 June 1964. The submersible is launched from the Deep Submergence Support Vessel RV Atlantis AGOR-25, which is also owned by the U.S. Navy and operated by WHOI. The submersible has made more than 4,400 dives, carrying two scientists and a pilot, to observe the lifeforms that must cope with super pressures and move about in total darkness, as well as exploring the wreck of Titanic. Research conducted by Alvin has been featured in nearly 2,000 scientific papers. Topic. Design Alvin was designed as a replacement for bathyscaphers and other less maneuverable oceanographic vehicles. Its more nimble design was made possible in part by the development of syntactic foam, which is buoyant and yet strong enough to serve as a structural material at great depths. The vessel weighs 17 tons. It allows for two scientists and one pilot to dive for up to nine hours at 4,500 meters 14,800 feet. The submersible features two robotic arms and can be fitted with mission-specific sampling and experimental gear. The plug hatch of the vessel is 0.48 meters (1 foot 7 in) in diameter and somewhat thicker than the 2 inch (51 millimeters) thick titanium sphere pressure hull. It is held in place by the pressure of the water above it. In an emergency, if Alvin were stuck underwater with occupants inside, the outer body or cladding of the submersible could be released and discarded using controls inside the hull. The titanium sphere would then rise to the surface uncontrolled. Harold E. Froelich was one of the principal designers of Alvin. Topic: History. Topic: Early career. Alvin, first of its ship class of deep submergence vehicle DSV, was built to dive to 2,440 meters 8,010 feet. Each of the Alvin class DSVs have different depth capabilities. However Alvin is the only one seconded to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, with the others staying with the United States Navy. Alvin's first deep sea tests took place off Andros Island, the Bahamas, where it made a successful 12-hour, unmanned tethered 7,500-foot test dive. On 20 July 1965 Alvin made its first 6,000-foot manned dive for the Navy to obtain certification. On 17 March 1966, Alvin was used to locate a submerged 1.45 megaton hydrogen bomb lost in a United States Air Force mid-air accident over Palomares, Spain. The bomb, found resting nearly 910 meters 2,990 feet deep, was raised intact on 7 April. On 6 July 1967, the Alvin was attacked by a swordfish during dive 202. The swordfish became trapped in the Alvin's skin, and the Alvin was forced to make an emergency surface. The attack took place at 2,000 feet 610 meters below the surface. The fish was recovered at the surface and cooked for dinner. During dive 209, on 24 September 1968 Alvin found an F6F Hellcat, number 42782, 125 miles southeast of Nantucket. The aircraft had ditched the 30th of September 1944 during carrier qualifications. The pilot survived. Topic: <inaudible> Sinking. Alvin, aboard the Navy tender ship Lulu, was lost as it was being transported on the 16th of October 1968. Lulu, a vessel created from a pair of decommissioned U.S. Navy pontoon boats with a support structure added on, was lowering Alvin over the side when two steel cables snapped. There were three crew members aboard Alvin at the time, and the hatch was open. Situated between the pontoons with no deck underneath, Alvin hit the water and rapidly began to sink. 
The three crew members managed to escape, but Alvin flooded and sank in 1,500 meters (4,900 feet) of water in the Atlantic Ocean at approximately 39 degrees 53 minutes 30 seconds north 069 degree 15 feet 30 inches W, about 88 nautical miles (101 miles, 163 kilometers) south of Nantucket Island. Severe weather prevented the recovery of Alvin throughout late 1968, but it was photographed on the bottom in June 1969 by a sled towed by USS. Mazar. Alvin was found to be upright and appeared intact except for damage to the stern. It was decided to attempt recovery, although no object of Alvin's size had ever been recovered from a depth of 5,000 feet 1, meters, recovery was deemed to be within the state of the art. In August 1969, the Illuminort, a DSV built by Reynolds Metals Company, descended to Alvin but had trouble attaching the required lines, and side effects from Hurricane Camille were producing worsening weather, causing the team to return to Woods Hole to regroup. The second attempt started on August 27, and Illuminort was able to secure a line and safety slings on Alvin, and wrapped a prefabricated nylon net around its hull, allowing it to be hauled up by Mazar. Alvin was towed, submerged at 40 feet 12 meters, at a speed of 2 knots 3.7 kilometers per hour, back to Woods Hole. <laughs> Post-sinking career In 1973, Alvin's pressure hull was replaced by a newer titanium pressure hull. The new hull extended the submersible's depth rating. Mid-Atlantic Ridge With a new stronger pressure hull Alvin could now reach the floor of the rift valley of this seafloor spreading center. In the summer of 1974 American and French scientists joined in Project Famous to explore the creation of new sea floor at this spreading center. The French provided submersibles Archimede and CYANA. A total of 44 dives were completed that succeeded in defining the crustal accretion zone in the floor of the Rift Valley. Hydrothermal vents Marine geologists using Alvin in the Pacific Ocean discovered deep-sea hydrothermal vents and associated biologic communities during two expeditions to ocean spreading centers. In 1977 scientists in Alvin discovered low temperature approximately 20 degrees Celsius vents on the Galapagos spreading center east of those same islands. During the RISE expedition in 1979 scientists using Alvin discovered high temperature vents 380 degrees Celsius popularly known as black smokers on the crest of the East Pacific rise at 21 degrees north these discoveries reveal deep sea ecosystems that exist without sunlight and are based on chemosynthesis. Topic. Exploration of RMS Titanic Most famously, Alvin was involved in the exploration of the wreckage of RMS Titanic in 1986. Launched from her support ship RV Atlantis II, she carried Dr. Robert Ballard and two companions to the wreckage of the Great Liner. Titanic sank in 1912 after striking an iceberg while crossing the North Atlantic Ocean on her maiden voyage. Alvin, accompanied by a small remotely operated vehicle ROV, named Jason J.R., was able to conduct detailed photographic surveys and inspections of Titanic's wreckage. Many of the photographs of the expedition have been published in the magazine of the National Geographic Society which was a major sponsor of the expedition. The Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution team involved in the Titanic expedition also explored the wreck of the USS Scorpion SSN 589, a skipjack-class submarine armed with nuclear torpedoes, which sank off the coast of the Azores in 1968 in uncertain circumstances. Alvin obtained photographic and other environmental monitoring data from the remains of Scorpion. Recent overhauls. Over the years, Alvin has undergone many overhauls to improve its equipment and extend its lifetime. In 2001, among other equipment, motor controllers and computer systems were added. The current Alvin is the same as the original vessel in name and general design only. All components of the vessel, including the frame and personnel sphere, have been replaced at least once. Alvin is completely disassembled every three to five years for a complete inspection. A new robotic arm was added in 2006.
Topic: <laughs> Current work. In June 2008 construction started on a stronger and slightly larger personnel sphere which may be used to upgrade Alvin for use from 2011, before being used in an entirely new vehicle. The new sphere was designed, and then forged, from solid titanium ingots, in two equal halves, at Laddish Forge, Cudahy, Wisconsin, and then the 15.5 tons of titanium was machined and assembled, utilizing five viewports instead of the current three and is designed for depths of over 6,000 meters 20,000 feet, where Alvin's constructed depth limit was 4,500 meters 14,800 feet. This, along with a general upgrade of support systems, instruments and materials, will allow Alvin to reach 98% of the ocean floor. After one last dive to assess damage to the Gulf of Mexico's seafloor after the Deepwater Horizon disaster, Alvin was refitted starting January 2011, with an expected return to the ocean in 2012 and full depth potential achieved in 2014. Topic: 2014 overhaul. In early 2014, an extensively refitted Alvin started verification testing in the Gulf of Mexico. Featuring new cameras, lighting, and a larger titanium personnel sphere, this new Alvin is the result of a three-and-a-half-year effort to bring the sub to new depths. In March and April 2014, Alvin was used to explore the site of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Topic. Awards. National Defense Service Medal with two stars, three awards. Global War on Terrorism Service Medal. Topic: Operation. Alvin uses four 208-pound, 94 kilograms steel weights, approximately 1.7 cubic feet of steel, to provide negative buoyancy for the trip to the ocean floor. Alvin contains a ballast and trim system, but the steel weights allow deep dives to be achieved more rapidly. These weights are jettisoned on each dive and left at the bottom. Topic. See also Black Smoker Deep Submergence Vehicle Mid-Ocean Ridge RISE Project Jack Corliss Bruce P. Luyendik Kenneth C. MacDonald Fred Spies Topic. Alvin Class DSV Turtle DSV-3 Seacliff DSV-4 Nemo DSV-5 Topic. Other deep submergence vehicles <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>